what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and on today's episode we are going to be talking about the chevy avalanche and how it's actually going up in value so stay tuned for this episode because i think you're going to find it really interesting let's get it what's going on guys it's your boy ryan phil thank you so much for joining me today now if you guys have been following me for some time Thank you so much for returning back like always. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all my latest content, especially the videos that I keep posting every day to keep you guys active. Now, on today's episode, we are gonna be talking about the Chevy Avalanche and how it's actually going up in value, which makes me pretty excited. And I'm sure it's gonna make you guys really excited as well. Make sure you also hit the like button for this video so that way it can go up into the YouTube algorithm and boost this channel. That's all I ask of you guys. I never ask for donations or anything else. Um, well, except that one video that I made, I did ask for donations if you guys wanted to for the cancer, but that's if you guys wanted to. Other than that, I never really asked for anything but for you guys to hit the like button. But anywho, let's get back to this video. So I've been doing some research lately and I've found some very interesting information that the Chevy Avalanche is indeed going up in value. Now that is crazy and it blows my mind because I predicted this way before. Toyota Supra went up in value. Nissan Skyline going ridiculously out of control. Uh, vehicles, I've noticed vehicles that are no longer in production or no longer having future generations coming out, they are starting to go up in value. And I believe, mark my words on this, I believe due to popularity of the vehicle going up in value, take the Avalanche for instance, I believe strongly that GM may eventually push out a brand new Chevy Avalanche. I don't see why they won't. I've been noticing on YouTube a lot more people have been making videos on the Chevy Avalanche. I think I was one of the first people to actually start making a lot of videos on the Chevy Avalanche. Then I started noticing people throughout the stream of years creating Avalanche content. So I'm starting to see a big uproar on the Chevy Avalanche. Now, I've been looking up some values on the Avalanche, and if you plug in, like, I don't know if anyone follows KBB. Sometimes I hear they're not accurate, whatever. But um, how I rebuilt my motor, it has currently 6,000 miles on it, and plugging that in with all the features and stuff on KBB, it comes up to around 15K. Now, I obviously, I know people aren't going to plug that in and not take that for an account, but if you just take it in straight as an account as it is, 141,000 miles on the body and transmission and whatever, looking up this website called cargurus.com, it actually talks about the price trends of the Avalanche. And the 2004 Chevy Avalanche's average price is about $9,000, and that's a 14.84% increase in the last 30 days and in the last 90 days it went up 27 percent and in the year it went up 34 percent which is crazy it's going up more and more so um looking at the 2005 avalanche it registers around 9,000. 2006 10 grand 2007 12 grand 2008 13,000 2009, 14, 2010, 15, 2011, 18, 2012, $20,000, and 2013, $23,000. And they are going up like crazy. And for some reason, they keep jumping up and increasing, which I'm happy about because now the ones who own it, me and you guys, we can get good money for our truck but I love my truck too much that I will not sell it no matter what. I'm actually gonna keep that as long as I can and make sure I maintain it and make sure it, it's, it, it does me the service that I need it to do. But it's insane to see that we technically have an asset in our hands. Now, a lot of people do say that vehicles are not assets, they're liabilities, they pull money out of your pocket. And I'm not trying to go into the financials with you guys on this stuff, but Assets make money for you and the Chevy Avalanche is now becoming an asset because it's making money for us. I mean, obviously, well, it's not really making money for us until we sell it, then we got the money made. 
but as we hold it, it's an appreciating value as we go on with time. Now, I hope it continues to keep rising up as far as we need it to. Uh, I hope it doesn't go back down. I hope when the economy staples out again after this whole virus thing is handled, I hope it continues to stay on the up and up and not shoot back down. Um, but even if it does, no worries because I do plan on keeping it. But if the prices do keep raising up, I can buy another one for the, a really, really cheap price, rebuild it, fix it how I want it, and resell it and get something great for it back in return. It'll be an amazing ROI on my end. Now, that's the same for you guys. You guys can definitely check out Avalanches in your area. Look and see if you can get a good deal for one and then repair it, flip it, and make some money for yourselves. I know you guys can use it and, and do great things with that money. Once you flip it, you can probably buy another one and then flip it again and buy another one and flip it again and keep going so on and so forth. So I think it's awesome. I just wanted to make this quick episode with you guys. Um, and if you guys have anything to add into the comment section below, please leave it in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you are not a subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button for this channel and also hit the like button to boost us up into the YouTube algorithm. Guys, that allows me to do more on this channel. The more views you guys give me, the more money comes into the channel, which is funded back to the channel. It allows me to buy project cars. It allows me to come up with cool um, projects to show you guys. I definitely want to do a supercharger on the Avalanche. I definitely want to do the wide body kit, which is currently in the design process of going on. Um, I do want to do a lot more cool things for you guys. So definitely hit the like button. Let this let these videos go up into the YouTube algorithm, guys. Do me that favor and um, help your boy out. We're one big family, and that's what we're here for, to help each other out. So I'll see you all for the next one. Peace out.